Bon <laughs> appetit. Oh. Hey, it's cooked through. All right. I, I'm fairly confident that this isn't going to make me sick. Uncalculated cooking, uh, where the recipe's made up and the ratios don't matter. I like that catchphrase and I'm sticking with it. So today, you're doing meatloaf. <laughs> Say your mama's meatloaf. This is Guildenstern meatloaf, okay? So you've got your ground beef right here. Yep. Um, have some eggs to sort of uh, hold things together. I don't know. I've seen my mom put eggs in meatloaf before. Um, some butter. We're gonna put an onion in there. Got some mustard. Got some breadcrumbs here. Uh, salt and pepper. And, um, I think ketchup. I think I'm gonna put ketchup on top and have it be sort of saucy. Like me. Alright. Ketchup. Uh, okay, great. So, we've got a bowl to mix everything in. So let's start, um, let's start with the, let's start with the beef. 160 degree internal temperature. I know we're doing no recipe here, but I'm not gonna eat anything that's dangerous, so. We'll go by that. It's a good way to open the meat. Slice it down the middle and squeeze it up. Yeah, literally. Just... Oh my god. Really? Yeah. We need a different knife first of all. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. Zoom in on this. That is so disturbing. You gotta squeeze it like toothpaste, you gotta roll it. Mm-hmm. Second half. Okay, that's more than I thought. Ready? Oh no. There we go. Oh, uh, there's beef on the board. <laughs> Sweet onion, yellow onion. I'm gonna chop this bad boy. And uh, we're going to, I believe, mince this right here. That's how you go ahead and get a nice cut of relatively, <laughs> relatively equal sizes. And we're cutting into little chunks. We're doing well. I feel like this is going to be one of the easier ones that I'm making a video on. Oh, except my eyes. Oh. I can't see. Okay. Get in there. Ah! Oh. We have beef, we have onions. Put it in an egg. Boom. Let's put in another egg. Okay, I think that should make it nice and sticky, hold its shape. Um, let's do some, some butter. Probably not. No butter. Breadcrumbs. Mm. We'll add more as needed. Salt. Bam. I need a bit more than that. Bam. Pepper. Mm. Good. Some Dijon. I don't know if Dijon is the correct type. We went to Walmart. There's like a million different types of mustard. What? Oh god. What have you done? Dig in, I guess. Let's get in here. Cool. <laughs> no. Stay away. <laughs> I think that's a fine mixture. Like I said, I think this is going to be one of the easier videos that I do, quite honestly, because you just kind of mix it all like that, and then you put it in a pan, and then you put it in the oven. How much are you supposed to put in? How? Um, that's too much. I guess there's no yeast. It's probably not going to rise, is it? It's I don't, not going to rise. I don't need this. <laughs> Meat loaf, loaves rise. Okay, dude, yeast. I'm gonna put. You see, there's no room to put the uh, the ketchup on top. I was gonna I was gonna do a little ketchup mixture. Why don't you make it peaked? Big brain. Great. This is looking, you know, not bad actually. I'll shake it up. So how how am I gonna? Excuse me. I need a spoon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pour it on here and then I'm gonna kind of spread it around. Not that I need to spread it much. Look, it looks good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So now, what we do is, um, wait, 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 wait. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do microwave to be low. Not poached. Don't tempt me. Now I need a spoon. 
Okay. So, microwaving a microwaving a meatloaf. You're gonna want to take your regular meatloaf. Oh gosh. Here. Take a spoon and kind of cut the top dome off, which is sad because that was probably going to be a pretty looking meatloaf. I've got a plan. Okay, right here. Take this. Bam. Easy. Fill this in with ketchup now. Oh god, Avoid. no, it looks sad. Do you want me to remix it? Alright, so I'm gonna rub that all in. Rub it up, I guess, reform it into dome shape. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're looking good. This is how the Gildan's turn to do. So now what you wanna do, get your ketchup. Round two. Round two. It still looks pretty decent. So, question, why are you not doing it? Oven, stove top, microwave. Trifecta. So you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna get some butter in the pan. Oh, that's a lot of butter. Okay, so this is gonna be the this is gonna be the plate loaf. You really want it thin. And we're making meatloaf, not burgers. This is somewhat loaf like. What do we got here? Beverage. Okay. This is a lot of butter. Internal temperature of 160. So you gotta set that bad boy to 160. So we know. Right when it gets there. Uh, I don't know that that's entirely cooked. It's kind of brown, so I think it's almost there. But we're gonna do a little bit longer. So this is uh, this is looking warmish. We need to let's go to a medium high. Oh, the oven's ready. Splendid. Ah, there's already something in here. That's fine. Okay, we look. Yeah, looking good. Right on in. And how long? I'm thinking a flat hour will do. Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour. Oh, it shrunk quite a bit. But you know, much like the poached cow, much like the poached <laughs> cookie, when it shrinks, that's where the flavor's at. <laughs> Oh. Hey, it's cooked through. All right. I, I'm fairly confident that this isn't going to make me sick. Mm -hmm. That needs to cool anyway. Here we go. Looking good. While this side of this one is cooking, we're gonna try this bad boy. So, get, go ahead and get a zoom on the one on the fork here. Nicely colored, fully cooked. Got some onions dangling off the side. There we go. Okay, it's a bit tough. Mm -hmm. Could have used 30 seconds less mm -hmm. in the microwave. But it tastes good. Here. I don't eat microwaved meat. Chili dip. Flavor wise, that's okay. It's tough, but flavor wise, it's pretty good. You did put on the flavor. Okay, here we go. The flavor. Mm -hmm. The flavor's there. Mm -hmm. It tastes almost like like eating like a McDonald's burger, but just the burger. That's not bad. A lot of people love McDonald's. I think this one's turning out the best so far. It's kind of like, it's kind of like- It smells really good. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, I did not see this yet. Yeah, get in there. Oh no. No, it's fine. It's just a, it's a, it's the sear. It's seared. Okay. Honestly, I think. You can't retouch it once you're it out. I don't know, it feels pretty squishy. Squishy, squishy. We're just gonna leave this on here for a little bit. That's mine, okay. I wanna make sure the bottom side isn't burning. And uh, I don't think it is. I can put something on top of it. Sorry. Do you think I can use this on the on this? Yes. Okay. Right. Voila. Get in there. Please turn off the stove. Okay. <laughs> All right. Moment of truth. 
Okay. It's, uh, well. She's pink. That's safe. There we go. Look at that. Zoom it. Nice. It's time to try this bad boy. I get some onion in there, get some of the seared exterior. Looking nice. good. That's a mini meatloaf in the pan by your truly. That's good. Okay. This is the best result yet. Here, try this. Yeah. It's decent. That's a solid. That's a solid meat product. This might end up better than the one in the oven. Actually, probably not, because the oven is very regulated, you know? Certain temperature, certain time. We're using this bad boy to make sure it's safe. Do you want to check um, it? No. Or no? <laughs> I'm sticking with the hour. He's sticking to it, boys. Which we've got 40 minutes left, so we'll be right back after this commercial break. Man, I am bored. Well, you know what you could do, babe? What's that? You could watch twitch.tv slash goldenstern wow. for some prime content. Some prime content? What kind of content are we looking at here? Something like this. Helsinki. We got Turku here. Oh, dude, it's Turku! Oh my god. Nigrin. Night. 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 I don't want to see rest myself. So we're going to check the loaf. I think we're like 40 minutes into the hour. We'll see. All right, well, it's got a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of liquid, but let's just, uh, let's just see. It appears to have stopped around 1.30. Certainly needs more time. We'll leave it in there for another 20, maybe a little extra, maybe another half hour. Check on in another 20 minutes, and just so we can see how your hour estimate was. 20 minutes later. In the meantime, while we're waiting, uh, we went ahead and we made a stuffing. Uh, didn't film that part because uh, definitely used a recipe for that. Quick and easy though. We think that the meatloaf is going to be pretty good, so we made a stuffing to go on the side of it. Um, so we're going to see how that is actually. It was at 130 degrees when we checked it earlier. 20 minutes ago. And, uh, yep, 375. And it needs to be 160. I'm going to let it go so you know it's the full timer. One hour. Okay, the top of the onions are like burned. I don't know what to think of how this looks, but let's check the internal temperature. Yeah. That is going up. That's much going faster. up much faster, yeah. Dude, what? It looks like it's stopping around 140 here. All right, we need more time. So 20 minutes. All right, here we go. <laughs> 20 minutes made it go from 130 to 140. No. If it gets 160, if it's linear, that'll be 40 minutes from now. You know what you should also maybe consider? Maybe your oven is not hot enough. That could be the case. We could do a little, uh, little, little turn there. We'll turn that. 400, 400. So maybe another 20 minutes. Hey Siri. Okay, 20 minutes. All right, we'll be back. 20 minutes later. The 20 minutes is almost over. So let's go ahead and try it. As you can see, the ketchup is burning. <laughs> Don't know. Close the oven, please. All right, but uh, let's try it. Look how fast it's rising. All right, we're going for 160. Oh, it's passing 140 for sure. 150. Hit me up with that 160. Let's see it. Let's get there. Get there. Yes. Okay. So, I think I should drain off the liquid before actually cutting into it. Alright, that's probably fine. Okay, cool. That smells really good though. Really? Let's cut into it. Are you gonna transfer it to the plate first or are you gonna cut it in the pan? Transfer it to the plate. Yeah, sure. So we can see it. I don't know what I'm going to use. We're gonna use two forks. We're just gonna kinda of impale and transfer. I'd say it looks pretty good for uh, not knowing how to do it and not following a recipe. I, I think it looks solid. All right. That looks pretty good. Let's see. We've got some nice charred ketchup. Get the inside. Oven cooked um, actual meatloaf. Oh. Mm -hmm. To everybody's surprise, one of these videos has turned out good. <laughs> 
It's not spectacular, but it's decent. It's great. Well, I think that I think that's a success. Well, I like it. I love it. And we're about to eat some more of it. So thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Appreciate you watching the video. Go ahead and like, subscribe, ring the bell so you get a little notification when I uh, when I post something new, like one of these lovely videos you see here. Um, and again, uh, I post on Twitter when I do a lot of my updates and twitch.tv slash is where you can see me live. Other than that, I will see you later. Have a good one. And I'll, yeah, see ya. Bye. <laughs>